This winter was the third snowiest of all time for the Twin Cities with almost 90 inches stacking up. With warmer temperatures, temperatures finally making an appearance this weekend, Eric from Ramsey asks, how long does it take for snow to melt? Good question. Kirsten Mitchell went to the Minnesota State Climatology Office to find out. Does it feel like the snow has stuck around more this year than in years past? You know, when we first got that first big snow in what, October, November, it was there to stay. I remember like last St. Patrick's Day, there wasn't any snow. It's been long. I had a couple trips. I went to Florida and Arizona, but I come back and the snow is still here. But it won't last forever. We're in April, so we're going to be melting snow pretty much every day. DNR climatologist Pete Boulay says the strength of the sun in April is comparable to September. Well, it's all about the sun. Other factors influence snowmelt too. Wind is one of them, uh, sun, rain, um, and above freezing temperatures. Snowpack varies by location. Just look at this courtyard at the University of Minnesota. Around trees, it can warm up faster because the trees are warmer. Over at MSP Airport, the snow usually melts by March 31st. The earliest it was gone was March 1st, and the latest, May 5th. May snowstorms, they don't last long at all. Good. They're usually gone by the next day. Good. Yes. Homes and driveways facing south get plenty of sun and will melt the fastest, while those facing north. You're still moving snow off that driveway. Does snow typically melt from above or below? It depends on the time of year, but deep snowpack, it melts from the top. Strong sun can evaporate snow into the air. So is air temperature or ground temperature more important when melting snow? Air, air temperature is probably more is more important because you know you, you need to have that well above freezing to really get it to work. And what really helps is you have rain falling on the snowpack. But when will this mountain of snow here in Eden Prairie melt? May, June, July, August? By the fourth of July. <laughs> no time sooner. Some call it Mount Target or Mount Eden Prairie. Have you seen the one in Eden Prairie? Yes. How long target? will that take? You know, I, 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 it's hard to say. You know, um, well, after a while, you look at those and it seems like it's more dirt than snow. The darker the snow, the faster the melt. You can see where there's been leaves. They start melting little holes in the ice. So, you know, obviously a leaf heats up faster than snow. So all this little dirt particles kind of help melt it faster too. Are you ready for the snow to melt? In Eden Prairie. Yes, I'm so ready. Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. I think we all feel that way. We're ready. We are ready. Despite being a little behind in melting this year, don't forget 2018 when a thunder blizzard mid-April left snow on the ground until April 21st. Remember it well. Yes, yeah. I do too. Uh, Eric, thank you for the question. If you have a good question for Kirsten, just email her through wcco.com slash links.